Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome back to the railway, I hope you're all doing okay. I'm coming at you with all the latest model railway news for May 2021 and there are some fantastic little updates coming up today so sit back, relax, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to kick off first of all with an update from Hornby because they do have a number of new items in stock this month. I will just tell you the highlights but as always check out your favourite retailer for more. First up then, it is the HM6000 controller with the DC control app that has now been released and available to buy and I have done a review on that unit so if you are interested in it I will include a link to the video up there and if you'd like to buy one or pre-order one for yourself I have got affiliate links down in the description. Overall, it's a really, really good little setup. I was more than impressed with it. Even better, the first train set that uses the new HM6000 controller is now available too. It is the iTraveler 6000 set. It actually looks like a pretty good set. It's got a reasonably large train, I think four items in the train, a decent amount of track as well, including points and a siding, which I always recommend for people looking for the first train set because that's so much more fun. And you know what, even though I did get a lot of comments in my HM6000 review from people saying that's great and all, but I just prefer traditional knobs to control my trains, I think that is fair enough, and I think Hornby understand that. But to a certain demographic, to a certain customer, the ability to control trains using a smartphone offers a great point of access to the hobby for that certain demographic. So I'm all for it, to be quite honest. And finally, the brand new Southern Railway bogey luggage vans are now in stock too. They're all new tooled, and again, I have done a review on those too if you want to check it out. Again, a great, great product. Really quite impressed with it, particularly for the price. It's another decent model. There are also a number of updates on Hornby's Engine Shed blog as well, so check out some of these. They are showing off the latest decoration samples for the newest Sentinel shunters. I particularly like this one, this is the Hitachi one, and I think I remember reading that this model had received a partial retoll in order to produce this variant, and I can see that there are some details on these photos that are not present on my Sentinel, so that has piqued my interest, to be quite honest. If you'd like to see me review that, I will post a poll after this video so that you can let me know. I really would like to have a more modern liveried Sentinel. It would be awesome. They've also showed off some new decoration samples for the latest Rustons as well, including this one. This is the Grant Rail version in the yellow, which is lovely. Why do Rustons look so good in yellow? I don't know, but they certainly do. And then there's also this one, if yellow is not for you. It's the Express Dairy in the blue. And there really is such a huge range of different Rustons available now it's amazing that Hornby haven't abandoned this model and that they are continuing to service it and produce it in so many different guises you know if I had the money I'd probably buy one of them all and just have a gigantic fleet well I don't know I can dream Next up, Backman have made their latest quarterly announcement for summer 2021, so this is basically all of the stuff they expect to be in stock over the next quarter or so. If you are interested in everything they've announced, as always, check out your retailer of choice to see the whole range. But for once, there are actually a number of different objects that stood out to me that I think are worthy of note. So the first one is the return of the lovely Midland compound in LMS Crimson Lake. Now this has been back more recently in the BR Black, I think, but it's this Crimson Lake that really does catch my eye, so I'd be very interested to try one of those. As far as the price goes, they are taking the mick a little bit, I would say. The new RRP is £214, which is just absolutely insane. The BR Black Midland compound that I own from Backman cost me about half that, I think possibly less than half that. And if you go to the retailers, they're available for about £180. So it is a good model, don't get me wrong, they're great models. Are they worth that much? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I will try one and find out, though, again, if I can afford it. Next up, they've announced sound-fitted versions of their upcoming LNER V2. Again, these are quite expensive at a £329 RRP, or £280, roughly speaking, to buy from the retailers. Now, I'm not sure whether the V2 is going to be worth that amount of money because I don't think the DCC ready ones have been released yet, or at least I haven't got mine. So I guess we'll have to take a rain check on that. We'll wait and see how the V2 turns out and whether or not I personally can recommend those models, we will find out in due course. 
Finally, there is a new tooled locomotive to be released by Backman over the next few months, and it is an all new tooled class 24 slash 0 and 24 slash 1. And they're doing this apparently to celebrate 20 years since the old class 24 was released. 20 years. And with this new version, they're currently offering four different variants, presumably with more to follow in the future. They're fully up to date with full interiors, apparently. They're going to have details such as etched grills, full lighting, including some interior cab lights as well, which sounds great. And there are even going to be some sound versions on the way as well. And strangely enough, these seem a little bit more reasonable than their Steam releases. Uh, £179.95 is the RRP and £152 or thereabouts to order from the retailers so expensive yes but you know it's all new tooled unlike the midland compound who knows who knows it could actually be worth buying backman do produce great diesels if you'd like me to get one to find out what it's like do comment down below and i might well look into it Next up then, a very interesting and for some people a very exciting announcement from Rapido Trains because they have announced that their legendary APTE train pack is to return. Now this was available previously back in 2016, I believe it was, when it was released as part of the National Collection by the National Railway Museum and man, I have heard a lot of great things about that model but of course they were all sold out, couldn't get them anymore. Well, they are coming back, they're no longer exclusive to the NRA Rapido are producing them to sell themselves and also retailers that stock Rapido will be selling them as well. And this is what they look like. It's a four car pack, so that's two end cars and two coaches, available from retailers for around £325. And if you want to build up the rig, there are additional coaches available for about £100. Now, this is very, very expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's probably not something that I personally will be able to afford. But do bear in mind, this is produced by Rapido, who are a very, very prestigious company. And there are some pretty crazy features on this set as well. I mean, it's got a built-in tilt mechanism, which sounds really impressive. There are full interiors, apparently. It's got full lighting. The packs have dual motors with flywheels. So, yes, it's expensive. Expensive, but it does sound like, particularly given my other experiences of Rapido, it does sound like you're going to get exactly what you paid for. I don't know, if people are really, really desperate to see this reviewed, I might even get one. But maybe I might choose to actually eat instead, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Next up then, some very, very exciting news from Acura Scale, who have revealed the first proper sample of their upcoming haul class. Now they have been clear to say that this is one of the very first shots from the tooling and that there are still some refinements to make. But what you can tell from these photos is what the quality of this model is going to be like. You can see, for instance, how much die cast is involved. The vast majority of the body is made of metal, so this will be a really, really heavy model. And looking at the various pictures Acura Scale have shown off, it's just obvious what an incredible model this is going to be. Look at the cab. Even without the decoration inside there, the cab looks amazing. And you can see the opening in the firebox there where the lighting will be. And I don't know about you, but these photos really have gotten me excited for the Manor. I think the next year or so is going to be very Manor-centric, isn't it? Because, of course, we've got the Dapol version on the way as well. That's going to be a more a sort of better value option, I suppose. But it will be interesting, nonetheless, to see how the two different Manors compare. Man, really, really looking forward to that. Next up, as you know, I am quite a big fan of Oxford Rail rolling stock, so I wanted to share this little bit of news with you because Oxford have showed off a brand new sample of one of their upcoming wagons. So more specifically, it is the early engineering sample of the upcoming GER goods and banana vans. Now this, as you can just see from the photos, is going to be another highly detailed model. And of course, I don't believe we've ever had a box van from Oxford Rail before, so it's definitely high time we got one, and it sure is looking fantastic. Obviously, this is not yet representative of the final product, but these photos do help to show off what the models are going to look like, roughly speaking. And of course, they're bargains too at just £12.50 from the retailers. That's pretty cheap by modern standards, isn't it? So I will include an affiliate link down in the description. It's crazy, but I'm kind of excited about this. It's a banana van, I know. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Definitely going to get a couple of those. 
Next up, a bit of an update from Hattons, yet again on their Hattons Genesis coaches. Now, last month, I think they showed the decorated samples. Well, this month, we've seen even more of those because they sent the samples out to various reviewers, including me. So I did get to do a proper video looking up close at those coaches, taking in the details, and of course, more importantly, taking in the various different liveries. So if you are interested in seeing the coaches up close, I will include a link up there. Spoiler alert, they are absolutely wonderful. I just cannot wait until my order gets delivered and I can say they are mine and I can run them with my pre-grouping coaches. So yeah, comment below which version you've got your eye on, if you've got your eye on any at all. And yeah, it's just a countdown now until those models come out. Really, really looking forward to it. Final section of the news then, this is my favourite section where I talk about the poll results of the various questions I've asked over the month. So first of all, I did this video, which was my Southern running session. I tried to choose some of the greatest Southern logos, in my opinion, of course. And I asked you folks, which was your favourite of the engines I picked? Now, as you can see, these are the results. The Merchant Navy class stole the show, really, with 58% of the votes. The vast majority of people voted for that. And surprisingly, the M7, the B well tank and the Lord Nelson fed really quite badly. I thought the M7 and the Lord Nelson would be quite popular. Obviously, that is not the case. So I did learn something from that poll. Next up, I did a review of the Backman 9F and things were going quite well. I thought the model looked okay until I got to the mechanism, which I found was very outdated for what I paid and it did not work very well. So I asked you folks to rate the model out of five. And as you can see, most people picked three star, giving an overall user score of 5.66 out of 10, which I think for the first time ever is actually lower than the score I gave. I think I gave it 6.03 out of 10. So maybe I was a little bit generous on the 9F. Now, to be fair to the Backman 9F, a lot of people did get in touch in the comments to say that their 9Fs run absolutely perfectly. So do bear in mind, there are good examples out there there. However, the mechanism, no matter how you look at it, no matter how well they run, is very poor and outdated. And because this model is still being sold today in 2021, I still don't find the model acceptable. But sure, your mileage may of course vary on performance. For now though, that is it for the Model Railway News. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it as always. If I've missed anything that you think deserves a mention, as always, do comment it down below and I'll do my best to cover it in a future edition. Okay, you take care of yourselves and I will see you very, very soon for more Model Railway news.